and welcome back again this is CBH 4k and we just got done shooting a bunch of infected mutants in the face that was awesome and we're gonna go back to base I think I love from the auto save not the regular save but that's okay that's not a big deal all right now we got a bunch of things we can research here but I say we don't worry too much about that because we need to heal this guy, this person up here. Now the blue line means that the person was injured and they need time to recover their hit points. And the white line basically means they have, need time to recover their overall energy. Research complete. And we're going to do a cutscene. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he'd been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him, and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Alright, so we just basically, basically that was, hey, find this dude. He had a bunch of research uh, pertaining to this horrible outbreak. You should event send our operatives to investigate. So that's the next location. That's where his secret lab is located. We found out when we did research. Okay, we'll do that one next. And we'll do trade pro yeah. We'll figure out finish healing that guy. Okay, that's done. Now what do we want to do next? I say we do Sinedrion. Alright, now they basically, this is Sinedrion. I We already met them earlier, but they're gonna give us a mission. In the last episode, we met them. Okay, let's look at the equipment. Also, it auto saves your equipment. I think that's a feature you have to activate. We have a spare gun, that's good. Because sometimes new... I don't think new recruits get weapons. I may have changed the update. We'll see. Let's go ahead and just deploy. So I should probably talk a bit about the uh, term Cthulhu. I didn't really talk too much about Cthulhu last episode. It's basically... Uh, Cthulhu is from H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. It's a... Um, it's basically a cosmic horror sort of uh, monster. You, it's not really hard. It's not that hard to explain, but you should like Google it. You'll, you'll, uh, but be careful when you Google it because it's, it's a trip when you see one of them. Cthulhu. A drawing of Cthulhu. Yeah, H.P. Lovecraft was the one who uh, open. created cosmic horror and basically it symbolizes man's ultimate meaninglessness in the face of all of space and time here and such and such Moving. it's a very deep and profound type of horror that would that really does mess with your mind if you're not careful with it what's our plan I should say not careful with it it's our move it's definitely gonna mess with your mind but in a fun, entertaining way, I'm sure. He was, Let's go. H.P. Lovecraft was born early 19th century, and he died. Moving out. No, no, not early. 19th. He was born early. No, late. Excuse me, late. 19th century and died early 20th century. I'll keep 
keep my eyes open. Let's put you right here. And we'll put you in the standby. Now we're going to be fighting human enemies on, the move. on this one because uh, Sinedrion has a bunch of people going up, a bunch of raiders rampaging in one of the settlements and they want us to take care of it. If you catch our drift. Oh, you caught him on the way down. That was Gotta bad. Press. That was bad. Take this. Yeah, he's... The problem with... Right. That's the thing with trajectories in this game. Targeting. There's a chance you can miss it. See, he, he fired at our... Uh, soldier here but there was so much stuff in the way there was like this bench there was this pillar there was this pillar and there's another soldier here there was no yeah see watch yeah there was a bunch of stuff in the way so of course he missed the soldier missed uh, his enemy soldier missed two shots acquiring oh. target my sniper shark has a better angle on him but let's hit the tab button. And we do have some shots available. I say we leave you for now because you can't. We'll start with the sniper because the sniper really can't move. Because that blue space is where the sniper can move, where she can move. But outside of the blue area, she basically cannot shoot. After that, she'll basically be stuck. Targeting. Basically, a bunch. She'll she'll be stuck without a shot. So let's just take a shot here, right in his chest. That was a good shot. All right, we can switch to a pistol. Take a pistol shot. Firing target. Let's aim low. I'm not surprised we missed. That was a all set. Move you over. Taking aim. Let's aim for right in the center that way. We had a good chance of taking out something, but we didn't. I'm here. I'm not mad, I'm just saying I'm very, very disappointed. Okay. Ready to fire. Take aim. There's a hand there. Put you on Overwatch. On the double. Jump I on. see them. Right there. Stand by. Don't mess with me. You can take shots while you're out in the Eat open. Lead, sucker. That's two shots. A pistol only costs one action point. Ah. So everyone has four action points, so that's four shots. Again, anarchist. Let's take this shot. That thing you moved up there, champ. Jump down. Now this part's gonna hurt, guy. Aiming. Oh man, he's so gonna. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Five by five. Okay. Take your revenge on this jerk in the head. Like, this is the problem when you stand out in the open. You're really. You're really loud and hit. clear. Targeting. 
No. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Uh, go for the armor. That was it? And everyone leveled up. Yeah. I think you got two kills. Yeah, that's why you got so much XP. Uh, Alright. Go to the Geoscape. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai. Stas tries to keep everyone calm. Every haven has a totally different set of priorities. And then something like this happens. I was really anxious to hit the continue button because her accent is very thick and I was barely able to hear. <laughs> I'm being honest about our flow. No, like I'm just reading it. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The whole thing works. We've built something remarkable given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about That's unnecessary, the planet. We have a lot in common. Don't call the planet it names. Been, it has a feel. It has feels. People being it has feelings. For their labor. It has the feelings. Uh, access order do not require payment or thank you. This will give us some better graces, but I want that money. Let's... It's okay. Then you have our gratitude. I cut her off, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I held good. I held good. But. Just couldn't help it. Just couldn't help it, man. Okay, we're gonna reverse engineer the gun. Notice I'm picking the ones with shorter time because if we can get better research. I shouldn't say soon, but when we do get it. I don't want to waste all our research time on stuff that's going to take like 30 minutes, like like 30, like two days or something like that. That's not necessary. Anything that costs less than a day, we can do that real fast because our research right now is just one. We can improve it by getting more stuff in our base, but I don't know. I don't know what the new stuff they added to the base yet. We'll hold off. We'll hold off. Also, the bases are located on the map once you research a certain research item. Oh, research. Yeah. I think it's archives. Yes, archives. Once you reach Arch Phoenix Archives, you know all the base locations of uh, former Phoenix bases. Which basically you can take over by sending a. I won't call it the Sky Ranger, but it's called the Manticore. Yeah, the Manticore, and just taking it over, or whatever airship you got. Yeah. So that does it for part two, I think, Ron. Yeah. Yeah, we're, this is part two. Research complete. Because we're going to do New Jericho after this. After this person heals up. And we're going to heal up first. Uh huh. Pandora Intelligence Report. Hey, reports and observation on news. Andor. Andorian Brute. Okay. This is pit person in range. Okay. All right. That's bad. He's got. He's got a spit weapon. He's got claws. He's got a shield now. So this is another aspect of it, of the game. They got a new evolve system where. Over time, the Pandoran enemies 
they get new abilities and weapons, so you have to keep a lookout for that. Uh, that's not gonna be good. Research complete. Also, uh, new. This is a new, another new thing. I was just gonna close out the video, but since we got a bunch of new things, this is the human census meter. Once the human population drops below a certain percent, it, the war becomes unwinnable, and just and the human race dies. Okay, and that does it because we're gonna do the Dreamers Awaken next episode. So I can't wait to see you then. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you can. You have a good one. Bye.